Hey guys, Tony Maritato here, licensed physical therapist. And in this video, I wanna answer the question, is it safe to continue to play pickleball even if I have a diagnosed rotator cuff tear? Now, the research that I'm gonna share is based on presentations delivered by Dr. Brian Feely. That's F-E-E-L-E-Y. I'm gonna do the best to paraphrase his work, but I recommend you go directly to the source. You find him on YouTube. He's got articles published as well on Google. And he's really one of my favorite researchers, surgeons, physicians, who presents the most practical advice, the most real world information, because there's no shortage of other providers who are just gonna tell you, no, you can't do it. They're gonna tell you, you can't play sport, you can't sleep in that position, you can't lift this object, you can't do this, that, and the other. But that's not real world advice, that's not practical. So Dr. Philly goes through multiple studies. He talks about imaging studies that show that individuals with confirmed rotator cuff tears have no pain, have no functional limitation, have no restrictions on their daily activities. And there are also imaging studies that suggest individuals with no visible tear, no sign of tissue damage on imaging do have significant pain and limitation. So we don't quite understand what's driving the pain if it's not the rotator cuff tear. He discusses situations where they looked at individuals who had rotator cuff repair surgery compared to a cohort who did not have surgery but chose to do a physical therapist guided rehab program over a 12 month period. And the outcomes were comparable across the two groups. There was no significant difference between the two groups. So when we're looking at somebody who's just passionate about playing pickleball, and they don't wanna give up the sport, and maybe they're not in a position where they decided that surgery is the best option for them. They're gonna go the physical therapy, the self-recovery route. They're gonna work on it on their own. I would say the answer to the question, are you safe to continue to play pickleball, is you have to talk to your surgeon, you have to talk to your physical therapist. The first thing I would do would be have a comprehensive physical exam, help identify your weaknesses, your strengths, what's gonna cause the biggest risk to the tissue. And then you make the decision for yourself based on the information that you're provided. For some people, they would rather play the game if it's a 10 or 15% chance that they're going to experience a bigger injury. For other people, they would rather just have the surgery now with the chances of returning to sport after their recovery. So there is no simple answer. But I would tell you that you can at least make a better educated decision by talking to the right providers, talking to the right professionals. And if you have more questions about this, whether it be sports specific to pickleball or any other athletics, please post your comments in the description of, or the, the description in the comments of this video. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to break through that thousand subscriber mark. We're at about 911 right now. So every subscriber counts and it's free. You can always change your mind down the road if you're finished rehabilitating your shoulder injury. But I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.